Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so somebody misses you, you know, ooh. They're, you know what, you can feel this person's energy. I feel like somebody else tonight is picking up on this energy as well because they are coming in really strong. They miss their healer, okay? Um, they miss their empath. This is a healing card here. Um, you're somebody who may, uh, just with a simple touch of your hand, you make this person feel better. You know, why... I want to know why you guys are even in separation because this is a really strong connection. They want to come forward here. They miss you, collective. Okay, so I, what I'm getting is this person really didn't know what to do with the intensity of this connection. I can feel the intensity of this connection, okay? <laughs> this is a really strong connection. And you guys can pick up on each other's energy no matter what distance um, is between you. This could very well be your twin flame, your soulmate, um, your, uh, your twin flame soulmate, your divine feminine, divine masculine. I feel like it's a masculine energy. It's just come there. This person's coming through as a man, okay? Um, missing your touch, missing your kiss. This person's doing a lot of fantasizing about you. Yeah, look at this. Um, very passionate about you. <laughs> I feel like you do, the thought of you does something to this person. You know what I'm saying? It does. It, um, the thought of you, they instantly get this passionate, fiery energy. Um, they're thinking about times when you guys had were intimate together. That's what they're thinking. They're thinking about that, okay? And you can pick up on this energy. Uh, I feel like you're trying to distract yourself from it, though. This person, they want to come forward. This is all very daydreamy energy, okay? I feel like they picture you... Um, what life would be like you with you what li what life would be like if they were committed to you what it would be like again how it would feel again um if they were together with you okay oh my gosh this person's doing a lot of fantasizing tonight no wonder they've got me up in the middle of the night <laughs> you can feel this energy too you're like what is going on i can feel something's going on right Somebody's thinking about me. You may feel like you're being watched. Okay? So it may be kind of creeping you out a little bit, but I feel like it's just this person's energy is pulling on you really hard. That's what it is. If you're up late at night and you can't sleep, or maybe you're having dreams about this person, you can pick up intuitively that they're thinking of you in a very passionate, lustful kind of way. Okay? Um... Yeah, that's because they are. Yeah, there's something about tonight. I don't know what it is. Ooh, I don't even know what the moon phase is right now, but it's got both of you up all night or somebody here is up all night thinking about you. I'm hearing, I'm seeing 420, okay, 420. Um, so somebody could get up at like 420 a.m. in the morning feeling this passionate energy um feeling this person missing you oh this is this is very daydreamy energy this is like illusions mysteries late night dreaming um they're feeling like such a fool this person feels so foolish. What did they do? Okay, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, they chose someone else over you. They made a very quick judgment call and chose someone else over you. Um, I feel like this person ran from this connection because they didn't understand 
the kind of connection this is. It's a very, very intense connection, you guys. And I feel like that's, that it bugged them out. It, it scared them a little bit, maybe. And they, um, they chose someone else. They made a very snap decision without thinking things through. This is why they're feeling like a fool now. You know, um, hindsight is twenty twenty. If only they had known then what they know now. They've, there's a tremendous pull between you two. Um, you know, I mean, as a reader, we pick up on Twin Flame Soulmate Connections all the time. But this one is just like, the energy is just, you know, all over the table. Okay, do you know what I'm saying? It's like pulsating kind of energy. It's very strong. So um, I know that you're picking up on each other very strong, okay, for whoever this is for. Yeah, see, I feel like this person had a decision to make. They chose the wrong person. They know they belong with you. You're their, uh, their true twin. They didn't understand the intensity of this connection before, and now they want to come back around. They're feeling like a complete fool, and now all they can do is daydream about you. They dream about you at night. Now they want to choose a different path. They want to be on the same path you're on, but this person, they left you behind for somebody else. This is what they chose. You know, and I feel like they may still be with someone else, and that's why. Um, yeah, until they walk away from this other person that they chose over you, uh, they're not going to have a chance with you, okay? This person would be coming in with really an empty cup, not a whole lot to offer you as far as a decent, um, loyal, yeah, see, they, they wouldn't be able to be loyal with you. They'd, they'd be in and out again. So I know this person is with someone else, and that's why they haven't come forward. And they're they're fantasizing about you, and it's hot and heavy, okay, for real. Hot and heavy fantasies about you um, because they're in love with you. They, this person, they want to change their mind now, but like I said, they don't have, they can't offer you loyalty. They can't offer you dependability. They can offer you an apology and, and empty promises, and then they have to go back to the karmic or to whoever they chose over you. All right, and I feel like you or this person, actually, they may even be married. Or this could be your energy. You just, um, you want something that's going to be solid. You know, you're not about third parties. You want loyalty, dedication. You don't want to be disappointed. You don't want to be treated as an option. And I feel like this person, this is what they're going to do because they haven't broken free from someone else yet. You know, they're going to be in and out. Yeah, here, here you are, an earth angel. I feel like this person sees you as an earth angel. They know that you're their divine feminine. This is divine feminine energy all the way, okay? And they want a new beginning with you. Nobody makes them feel the way you do. Nobody has ever made this person feel the way you make them feel, okay? They literally um, cannot stop thinking about you. It's going, it's going beyond that. I mean, this person, they're living in like a little fantasy Loving up on you in their mind, okay? Yeah, you've got your boundaries up. You're not, um, you're not speaking to this person. I'm getting the sense that you're just, you're walking away from this. You've had nothing but integrity in this whole situation. This person left you behind. They chose somebody else. They ran from this connection. You had to heal all on your own with the help of the divine only, okay? And you you acted with integrity. You didn't seek any revenge. You didn't, you know, you didn't do anything to this person. There was probably a few things that you could have done to retaliate, but you didn't. Because you've got standards. Because you've got some self-respect. You know, but this person... um, 
they just left you behind. Uh, completely disregarded you after that, you know? And now they want to come back around. And I feel like you, you may not even feel the same way about this person anymore. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your person could be a Gemini. Um, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Yes, you could also be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, I said that already. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I've got Virgo and Aries energy out here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is out. Okay. Um, clarify the devil. Why is the devil out here? Oh, they chose a karmic. Yep, they chose a karmic over you. This is pretty self-explanatory. Um, this karmic knows about you. And she's very jealous, okay? She's very envious, see, because you're an earth angel. And she's a queen of swords. She's very bitter. Um, she feels very betrayed by your person um, because she knows about you. She also knows that your person is, um, they only have passion for you, not for her. Like, they reserve that passion for fantasizing about you. And I feel like um, she's starting to, she realizes that this masculine does not want her. Okay? But I feel like she's not letting them leave either. Um, she's kind of ruling with an iron fist right now. Sort of, um, she's very, she's being very dominant. She's being really aggressive. Um, she's literally refusing to let them go anywhere, okay? She could be, um, like, watching where they're going and um, watching their phone, who they're talking to, what they're doing. She could be questioning this person a lot. She's very suspicious because she knows they're in love with you. This masculine is kind of, I'm feeling this hermit energy. Is the hermit out? I thought I saw the hermit. Um, I'm feeling this hermit energy off of this person. You could be dealing with a Virgo because they, they're they really kind of shutting down when it comes to her. They're really, their only focus right now is you. And this is their happy place when they can go into this. Um, it's, it's like they, the only thing that makes them happy is to be able to fantasize about you now. She, this karmic is losing her mind. She is so jealous of you. Oh my gosh. She can't stand this earth angel. Okay. But that cycle, yeah, see, she knows it. She knows that this cycle is coming to an end. And she is enraged. I mean, look at how fuming she is. Okay. Yeah. Clarify this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, she may even have other people watching you or watching this masculine. I feel like people are watching you and she's busy keeping the masculine where they are. So she's kind of like it's sort of a tag team thing going on here. I, this is collaborating with other people. Um, it could also be, you know, putting in some work, some planning, strategizing, okay? Um, but she's asked somebody else to watch you while she holds the masculine back away from you. This karmic, this is, she's the reason why you two are not together. I feel like she's the main reason why this person has not come forward yet. It's clear to me if they were free, man... They would, uh, they would already be with you. Okay, so I know that she is keeping this masculine stuck there. She knows that they're about to leave. This is a cycle that's it's all played out. It's at its end, and she refuses, flat out refuses to give up. Um, she refuses to release this masculine. You know. I've been picking up so many times in my readings in the last couple of weeks that this masculine um, 
feels like they're being held captive, okay? Like this is, this karmic is telling this masculine, no, you're not going anywhere. I don't care what you want. You're staying right here. Oh, yeah. She's not letting them go anywhere. And she's watching them. She's keeping really close track of them. She's monitoring them. And in the, at the same time, she's asking some buddies to monitor you. So someone could actually, this is a stalker card. She may have actually even hired somebody to stalk you. Okay? I kind of think she did. I kind of think she's paying people to watch you and give her information while she watches. She's really watching this masculine like a hawk. Okay? Tower moment. There's going to be a huge fight that pops off. These two are going to fight, or they already are. I kind of get the sense that this situation is ending here with the Wheel of Fortune. That cycle is closing out. It's going to be ending with a major tower moment, a big sudden fight. Okay, she's going to bust your person doing something, I think, that she's not going to like. Uh, probably daydreaming about you and getting all kinds of passionate for you. You know, I feel like this, I just heard somebody's calling out your name. So this masculine, if they, if, look, if this masculine is still sleeping with this karmic, they're calling out your name, okay? That could be one of the things that starts an immediate fight, okay? All right? Yeah. If they are sharing any passion with this karmic, they're calling out your name. And even if they aren't, I heard calling out your name, so maybe they're calling out your name in their sleep or something. I don't know. And this could be what starts this big mess here. Um, or they already have been busted calling out your name. So this is why you're both being watched very closely. I think this already happened. I think, um, I think that's what happened too. These two though, I'm really, I'm really getting the sense that they're not sleeping together. So I feel like it's something that already happened. This masculine has, they called out your name. Okay. Oh. And I feel like a massive fight started, you know, and I'm really getting the sense here that your person probably tried to apologize for this to the karmic. But um, in all actuality, this masculine really is in a lot of regret for turning their back on you. And they want to come and apologize to you. You know, they apologize to the karmic for calling out your name. Okay? For, uh, I, I feel like it's, they're trying to keep it under wraps just how much they want you. But this karmic knows, man. She knows. She knows this is over. I mean, your person is walking around like this. Okay, and a whole lot of regret and remorse, not wanting to have anything to do with her, probably shutting themselves in a, in a separate room just so they can fantasize about you. Like, she knows this is happening. And it's like she doesn't care. I mean, she just, you know, that's not love, okay? That's not love. That's being controlling. She's very controlling. She's very jealous. She's... um she's a she's like a tyrant you know and she knows this masculine doesn't want her yeah this thing is already over i mean there's no love there there's no trust there there's no freedom you know there's no um individuality right there's codependency there's jealousy there's rage there's suspicion, there's hate, okay, a lot, a whole lot of fighting, 
I mean, that's all that they have in this relationship. It's not even a relationship anymore. It's a big old mess. I, I feel like this person was really trying to maybe um, not fight with people, you know? This could very well be, this masculine could be kind of like a people pleaser sort of thing. Because that's what it looks like they're trying to do here. But, I mean, it's not a secret anymore, pal. This the, this karmic already knows that you want this, this earth angel. What the crap? Um... And this is just too strong. It's in too intense of a connection to really be split up forever. You know what I mean? This karmic situation, I'm telling you, it's coming to an end. This is coming to an end. This is coming to an end. This is coming to an end. Um, yeah, and judgment. Okay. And this masculine, they're just so miserable there. They walk around on eggshells every day. Every moment they're there. Yeah, they're suffering their karma. Here's the thing. I feel like this masculine is getting stuck. They're getting them st themselves stuck in a toxic situation. Like another karmic loop. Okay? Because time's up on the situation. And um, they're still there. These people are, they're both about to get karma, especially this, this karmic who has been standing in between this connection on purpose just to keep you two split. Okay, so she's under judgment, major judgment here. So she's about to get some massive karma, and when that karma hits her, if this masculine is in that situation, it's going to hit them as well. There's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, a lot of fighting, tower moments. Um, I mean, it's going to be crazy. And they'll find themselves completely stuck in another toxic loop. Meanwhile, you're free to, um, to start a new cycle. Okay, you're manifesting new love right here as we speak. Okay, you may not even realize that you're manifesting. But I feel like you are definitely a divine feminine. Okay, yeah, see, you're moving on. And this is that hermit energy that I was talking about. Thank you, divine. <laughs> you could be dealing with the Virgo, but this is the, your person. This is how they're walking around. They're mopey. They're shut down. They don't want to talk to the karmic. Um, they, they want to be left alone just to think about you. You're all that they can think about. And they're literally watching you leave their life. They're, I don't see this person taking any kind of action towards you. I see them just fantasizing about you, and that's it. And the longer that this goes on, the more stuck they get in this toxic loop. Like, for real, they're out of time. This is somebody who's starting another toxic loop, you guys. They're, start, they're restarting this karmic um, cycle. You could be dealing with a, a Gemini, a Virgo, Aries. Heavy on Virgo in this reading. Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Yeah. I, you know, I, I just get the sense that this masculine is going to end up getting betrayed. But this is, this is that sabotage. This karmic is going to get such bad karma for standing in between this divine connection. This is a twin flame. Your divine feminine. This masculine they should be a divine masculine, but they're starting to fall from grace here. They're going to seriously get locked into a karmic cycle all over again. And whoever stood in between this, con this connection from getting back into union, that this karmic is going to be hit with some major karma, and this masculine is going to suffer it right along with her. And that this is their choice to stay there. They're not making 
they're not taking any kind of action or putting in any effort to break free right now. You know, they're just in hermit energy, but they're still there. That's them really not making a move to get out. You know, and their comfort zone is just fantasizing about you. You know, they're going to get stuck. Yeah, see, and this is getting stuck. Nine of Wands. I'm telling you, you guys, I cannot make this up. Um, so, yeah, Nine of Wands. This is them now stuck in spiritual jail. And I feel like um, once they realize that they're stuck in a karmic cycle, you can add another wand onto that. And that's going to be the Ten of Wands. Very burdened for years. Okay. You're moving on right now, though, keeping your moves hidden, moving in silence, right? You're just um, wanting a life of peace. You just, <clears throat> you don't want to be a part of this. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat chakra. This person wants to talk. Um, but yeah, you're moving on. And um, yeah, you just want to start a new life. You don't want, you don't want to be followed. <laughs> you don't. You just want to, you want these people to leave you alone. You know, I feel like you've had enough. You got your boundaries up. You're protecting yourself. Because I feel like you can feel this person's energy. Like, you know that they're thinking about you. You know what they're thinking. You can feel what they're feeling. You're um, picking up that they want to come in and communicate and you're out of there. I, this is also being spiritually led forward. So I feel like spirit is getting you out of this toxic, this toxic mess is really what it is. So that you are not a part of this and you don't, um, you're not around when karma hits. I'm telling you, the karma is going to hit these people so hard. Um, it's going to flip their whole world upside down. Because spirit, you know, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. When you stand in the way of the divine plan, <clears throat> spirit will bring you down. You guys, your, your person's messing with my throat chakra. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They want to talk really bad. Just know that. Um, let me get, you know what? No, I want to see what they want to say to you. Let's see what they want to say. <clears throat> uh, their throat chakra is, there may be a blockage that they need to work on, or it could be you, your energy. I think it's theirs. I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. I miss you. What did I say? They miss you. I'm moving on with my life. I feel like that's what you're saying here. I'm moving on with my life. Look, it's so weird. Both corners. Same same energy. Um, the universe is fighting for our souls to be together. And I feel like that's the truth. I feel like the universe has been fighting for this twin flame soulmate connection to come together. Yes, that's right. But without your person taking any action, it's not going to happen. This, this um, connection is becoming null and void. Okay? The divine is terminating this connection. Um, this person is running out of time. And they're finding themselves stuck now in another uh, karmic cycle, toxic cycle, okay? Yeah, I sabotage this, re this connection and I regret it. They're definitely going to regret this because now their life is going to just kind of get progressively worse, okay? I feel like their obsession about you is going to get progressively more and more painful as well. Yep, I hide my true desires for you. This is them um, possibly trying to deny the way they feel about you to this karmic who already knows. I mean, this is really stupid. It's just become like, it's, it's become completely illogical, okay? But this is the life that your person is choosing. I know what you mean to me. I'm ready to be with only you now. 
other people were interfering and trying to control me. I'm telling you, and that's that karmic. This is this isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. I never expected to fall in love, and that's what I was talking about earlier. This person didn't know what love felt like until they got with you. You came into their life and woo, everything went crazy. Everything went crazy for them. And it's getting crazier still cuz they're with the wrong person. Okay? Yeah, see, and they say it again. I wasn't having anything. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Okay, they're, they're in love with you now. They realize it. But they're also trying to um, pacify and please this karmic. And I'm telling you, man, I'm afraid of hurting you. Yeah, I'll bet they are now. They're they're getting their karma for hurting you to begin with. That's why. I know that we are spiritually connected. Yeah, and then that like just like I said, they're getting their karma. I'm learning a spiritual lesson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They are. Please forgive me. I know I messed up. Look at this. I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. The thought of you drives me crazy, yeah. Oh, this person is um, obsessively fantasizing about you. Hot and heavy fantasies, by the way. You're picking up on that energy. But you know what? If they don't take action to try to break free from this karmic um, that they no longer want, they will get locked in to a, a karmic cycle all over again. This person has fallen from grace. Okay, 